What's up guys? We got another Cyrax video tonight. This time it's stop victimizing people. So, let's hear what he's gotta say. Alright y'all, so... I'm here to take a 15 minute break here and speak on something that needs to be spoken about. And that is what you trolls do to people. And how it leads up to like what happened with me. What you guys do is wrong. You sit there and you pick on people weaker than yourself. You sit there and you fucking target people that look weak or different. And what do you what do you proceed to do? Every time you guys proceed to befriend them and exploit them after befriending them. All for views and money and clicks. Also, you can make a profit. And that's not right. You know, everybody wonders why so many people kill themselves over cyberbullying. This shit right here is what drives that suicide. I mean, no, no, stop trying to twist people's emotions saying like suicide is what happens when people are being mean. I mean, fuck, it's just, it's just emotional manipulation. That kind of shit right there, that behavior that you trolls do, that's what pushes people to kill themselves and commit acts of crime. That's what does it. I mean, you guys sit there and you attack people. And you harass them. Like you're some sort of vigilantes. On a mission for God when you're not. You're not on a godly mission. And then you run around and you make up all these rumors. All these lies. All this fucking bullshit just for clicks and views. Also, you guys can make a fast fucking get paid. And that's fucking sickening. Just like you guys did with me. Yeah, there it is. You don't care about anyone else in the entire fucking world except for yourself. It only matters when it affects Cyrax. You know, I've warned you guys several times to leave me the hell alone. But you didn't do it. You guys took it from the internet to real life. You guys attempted to assassinate me by shooting at me attempted to assault me to belittle and berate me and make me look weak then you had one of your little fucking trolls pretend to be a vigilante and had him come here after you know, threatening my mom and myself and putting our lives in immediate danger. And you had him using a weapon with fighting words on that weapon. Starting and inciting a riot. All for what? Clicks and views. Yeah, you know, the more you tell yourself that, it doesn't fucking matter. Because YouTube isn't on your jury. The judge is going to decide and he doesn't give a shit about your little whining about trolls. And I'm going to say this right here right now. All of you fucking trolls on the internet. All you fucking little wannabe heroes. All you fucking vigilantes that think you know shit. You don't know jack shit. You don't know up from down. You don't know left from right. You don't know your asshole from a hole in the ground. 
the end. You guys are super quick to attack somebody when they're down. But yeah, when that person fights back, you get mad. You guys sit there and you antagonize somebody and you kick them down and strip everything away from them. You strip their dignity, their humanity, and everything you can away from them. And then what do you do? You get mad when they fight back. You get mad when they fire back at you. No one is mad at you for fighting back. Everyone's mad at you for being a disgusting little monster gremlin who can't admit that he did something fucking wrong and wants to blame everyone else in the world for everything he's fucking done. Where is that right? Like, who the fuck died? Who the fuck died and made you God? Nobody. Like, you guys sit here, and you set people up, and you do all this shit to make them look like the bad guy. Just like Marty did with me with Mass Troll Mafia. He set me up to, be a, to make me look like a pedophile, because he's sickly obsessed with me. He has a mental illness in his fucking head, and I'm not blaming him for that. But he needs mental health and that. And yet, you guys get enjoyment out of innocent people being made to look like bad guys. You're not innocent. You haven't been able to play the innocent card for years. You're a disgusting little monster who continues to commit crimes and then complain when everybody else exposes you for committing crimes. So I'm gonna ask you dumbass trolls, you vigilante motherfuckers, the same thing I asked all my fans and all you trolls that came over to my channel, I'm gonna ask you the same thing I asked everybody else last night. How many people have to take their lives before you guys fucking stop and you say enough is enough? How many people have to die? How many people have to suffer? How many people have to lose their lives and lose everything before you fucking stop? No one deserves what you guys are doing. No one. Not me, not anyone. Nah, Cyrax. You deserve it. You deserve every fucking second of it because you're just a piece of shit. No one deserves that. Period. No one fucking deserves that. Alright? Okay? Chris Chan didn't deserve what you guys did to him. Suplex City Gloves didn't deserve what you did to him. Tony the Black Dragon Lord. He somewhat deserved what you guys did, but even there to an extent, y'all didn't need to fucking dehumanize him like you did on live stream and made him do the shit that he did. Oh, let's not forget about Heather Colonna, the one that you guys fucking scared the shit out of for no reason. No one deserves what you guys do to people. You guys walk around here and act like fucking wannabe gangsters. But really, you're just a bunch of piss poor, sad, lonely fucking old men that are mad at their lives, that have no goals, that have no dreams, that don't do anything, that want to fucking point and blame other people for your doing. You know, it's funny. You sit there and you attack somebody. You antagonize them. You harass them. You bully them. So fucking much. And then when they fucking snap, you point the finger and are like, Oh, he's the bad guy. He did this. He did that. No, motherfucker. You guys did something. You guys bullied that person to the point of fucking doing something. 
Again, let's all be clear. This is a 32-year-old man talking about people bullying him to the point where he attacks them physically and saying, well, it's their fault. And it's funny. Y'all sit there and tell people like me to take accountability? Wow, you fucking ignorant little fucks. You stupid ass fucking morons. You dumbass vigilante motherfuckers. Why don't you guys take responsibility for your actions? I mean, it's pretty funny how you victimize people and then you turn around and paint them out to be the villain when really they're the victim and you're the villain. Also, you can cover your own fucking ass. And that's sad. You dumbass trolls are nothing more than one of these vigilantes inciting riots, doing harm to people, harassing people. All for what? A laugh? A view? A quick buck? What you guys are doing needs to stop before someone gets seriously hurt or killed. You guys almost killed me twice. You guys tried to kill me twice in a row. When are you guys going to stop? When someone does actually get killed? When someone does actually get hurt and end up in the hospital seriously injured? Hell, because you guys, a couple years ago, I got stressed out so much that I almost died from the stress and I did end up in the hospital. But how long is it going to be before someone takes their life from you bullying them? And then guess what? When that person does, their blood is going to be on your fucking hands. You guys need to stop this fucking bullshit. It's gone too far and it needs to stop. Before someone gets seriously hurt or ends up dead because of you. So cut the bullshit and stop fucking bullying people. It's not okay. It's not cool. It doesn't make you hard. It doesn't make you cool. It doesn't make you a badass. It makes you a fucking pathetic ass piece of shit fucking moron with no morals so wanna be vigilante hard asses cut the bullshit now before someone gets hurt or worse think about what you do before you do it Because one day you guys are going to push somebody so far that they will take their lives. And guess what? Their blood is going to be on your hands. Well, awesome Cyrax. You managed to talk for another 15 minutes and said absolutely nothing worthwhile. I don't know why the fuck anyone watches this shit. But thank you for watching. Have a wonderful night.